Yo, 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 what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, man. It is your boy Mazir here and we are back with another Clash of Clans video. And guys, on today's video, we're going to be showcasing the recall spell in Lalo. Yes, with Blizzard Lalo, there's a way you can actually use the recall spell. And I'm going to show you how you can do it. We're going to go through this wall right here and I'm going to show you my plannings on two different bases. So I hope you enjoy this video man, okay? And if you do, make sure you drop a like, sub to the channel for more of this content. Also before we get to the planning guys, I wanted to appreciate every single one of you for the support in the past few days. It's just been incredible, it's been crazy man, you guys are smashing it. But without further ado, let's just jump in. Alright, so this is the base that we're gonna be hitting guys and how am I gonna hit this base with the Blizzard Lala? Well, I'm gonna go and you know use the blimp with the warden ability to land it around here So I'm gonna have to drop it from this angle and why do we land the blimp in the empty spots is guys If you didn't know it's because of the giant bombs if I land on this, you know and uh, builder hut Then if there is giant bomb here and here and small bombs my blizzard are gonna die So my super wizard are gonna die. So there is no point of doing that So what I'm gonna do is drop it a bit angled so then with the warden ability with a few loons i can you know take out all this stuff and then go deeper and when i'm gonna show you what the blizzard i'm hoping to get is basically this stuff all this and then this expo hopefully with the you know eagle clan castle pool obviously also the ground warden and these stuff will be going down because guys look at this stuff here you see this these have a lot of HP, so when the Blizzard is actually hitting them, when they're chaining through, they will chain to the weaker defenses on the other side. So guys, what I really want is basically this whole side down, completely, literally. So if there's an air defense like here left, it doesn't matter too much, we're just gonna finish or start on it. But later on, what will be the plan for the next part of the attack? Which down will be when these are down, we have a nice funnel through the base like this as you guys can see and this is where I do the hero part so also we have this side as well but that's extra but I want to you know have my heroes to be able to go around the base and come and go for the town hall right here you cannot see it but <laughs> let's just move it down a bit like that so I'm gonna drop the king first I'm gonna funnel it with the baby dragon on top like around here so I'm gonna drop the king so he goes like this and this single tower inferno is actually not going to lock onto the king if it's going around so it's gonna keep going then I'm gonna drop the queen Around this area so she can follow with the king I'm gonna funnel this gold storage so they don't go too much on the outside and then I'm gonna drop my RC to go for the single I might need an invisibility or a freeze for her I don't know but I have the diggy which is literally one of the best pets so that is gonna be a very nice you know and um, obviously I would say pet to have on the RC on this scenario but that is for that so my heroes Hopefully gonna go and make their way to the town hall. I'm gonna drop a few loons on this monolith. Just cause it's on the outside, we're gonna take, uh, you know, um, kind of advantage of that. But let's see how many loons. I have 28 loons, so that's why. Because I'm dropping a few on here, like that, and then like two or three on each side. And then I have to drop three or four for the monolith itself. So you can already see I'm, you know, gonna lose on to, you know, eight loons. So Blizzard Lalo with 20 loons, it's gonna be okay, but we have two hounds, which is good. So that is for that guys, the plan is that, but what happens after the hero part is basically these will be done with the blizzard, hopefully I'm saying, some of it might not go down, so RC might have to be dropped a bit on the top side to walk down. But this will be done with the heroes and the king and queen, hopefully, maybe there's gonna be some expos remaining here, I'm gonna do actually another color maybe for that, like you know, like that. And then this part of the base will be remaining for the Lalo. So that's why I also think if there is even more stuff left, I believe I could Lalo this base because it's just not a lot of base left to be honest. But one thing you have to notice is I'm gonna recall the Warden. You know why? Because I don't even wanna, you know, wanna lose him at the beginning. I'm gonna lose the ability, but I'm gonna use my Warden with the Lalo like that coming inside the base. I'm gonna recall the Warden back here. So it gives that extra health to my loons. And guys, that it for this plan right here so let's just jump into the base hopefully i can manage to talk and attack okay it's gonna be a bit hard but i'm gonna try my best okay all right see we're ready hold on let me check the spells okay we have very good very good we have two haste only which again because the base is not huge we're gonna have two haste and uh, yeah 10 barbarian guys it's just gonna give you a lot more time to have and um, you know deploy the invisibility spell so yeah uh, what is it fine? Yeah, okay, I think we go. Hold on, I have two more Sneaky Goblin, and that's for, um, why do I have two more Sneaky Goblin? I have four overall. I think it's for, yeah, okay. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. 
I think I know what it is. I think I just wanted to make sure this LXC collector is down, okay? But let's just jump into the attack, man. Let's go. Okay. Oof. We have the blimp ready. Now, we don't need the hound, but I don't know if I... Yeah, I don't need three hounds later. I'm actually just going to drop the hound. So it goes nicely. Drop the hound here. Drop some loons, loons, loons. Drop the blimp. Drop the warden on air, actually. Pop the warden ability. Sweeper is gonna be distracted. Come on, blimp, make it. Sweeper is gonna push us a bit. Nice, nice, nice. Now we're gonna land the blimp nicely here. Invisibility, rage. We landed a bit on the left side. Now let's make sure we have another invisibility. I'm gonna drag the warden out of there. Nicely done. Come on, take out those stuff. Take out the eagle. Plan is going to plan. Not bad, not bad. I might even take out the queen. Oh, I'm actually gonna hold on to invisible. Look at that. Man. That is just beautiful. Now I'm gonna drop the king here actually. I'm drop the minion down there. So we do the obviously and um, clean up. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep on going down. I don't have a wall breaker because I don't need anything to go inside the base. Now we have guys the phoenix with the king. Because I thought maybe the single tower inferno might be annoying and make it go through ability. So later on when I don't have the ability, it's gonna be a bit tough. But hopefully we're gonna be fine. And let that king take out that. I'm gonna drop the RC. Come on, RC, go on. I'm gonna drop the queen here. Let them go. Okay, nice, nice, nice. That is locked onto the RC, so I can drop the invis now. Beautiful. Okay, RC, keep on going. I need the diggy to actually activate that and um, distract the single. Beautiful. Nicely done, nicely done, diggy. I'm gonna drop the ice column two here and then i might just drop a baby jack here why not pop the king ability rc is fine for now let's um, poison the queen so rc can take her out beautiful rc is gonna go down but it's fine that wasn't the major plan i have so many headhunters i need to use them but uh i mean it's fine it's fine let's have a freezer ready in case we need it for the town hall and guys this queen skin is a bit bugged so sometimes it might not take out the town hall with the ability but we're gonna be good for now yeah so let's go on top lot of this Hopefully we're gonna be fine, let's drop that, and then the Warden, beautiful, Warden on air, easy as that, let's drop some minions on the back end too, come on loons, keep on going, we have another Hound, we can drop it, oh actually I need to take out the Monolith, we might just have to finish on the Monolith guys, cause uh, why not now, why not, let's drop it here, a few loons here, and then a few minions, we can haste through this group of loons, freeze the scatter again, we have a few more loons on the back, just in case we need to use them but we should be fine for now i think we got it guys come on let's, let's keep on going let's keep on going i have three headhunters but i might have to freeze this monolith and this tesla let's drop a few loons here a few loons here minions and uh, yeah guys beautiful and then we're just gonna get it like that simple as that guys with the um, obviously recall spell wow nice Oh, that wizard is nice though, that wizard is looking real good, but yeah guys, that's how you can use the recall spell on the blizzard lalo. We're not going to be using it on my other, oh wow, are we going to make it? Please don't be too many bombs, oh my god, okay, we're going to make it. Wait, wait, hold on, no, 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 one minion, no. Warden went down, wait, 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 oh my god, oh my god, no way. That scared the life out of me, holy crap wow we got it the last second that's crazy this is why you always need to look around the base guys because i was talking to you and attacking i forgot to even we had that builder heart i would have just dropped one minion at the back there behind the rc because wow okay man all right that's how you can use the recall spell as i was saying <laughs> well let's go to the next planning okay we are here on this ring base it's not completely ring base you can say because the rings are closed basically my, that's my point but what is the plan it's the similar kind of plan with the warden ability but this time we're not gonna you know make the warden recall we're just gonna keep him you know just maybe go ahead and maybe he's gonna stay alive maybe not i believe he could already stay alive so we don't need the recall spell but what is the plan basically i want to drop few loons here few loons here let me actually do another color so you don't get too confused with the with the gold color but uh, yeah few loons here few loons here and two loons on that then the warden and blimp and then we're just gonna fly i'm gonna land it on here and then you know obviously this blizzard will actually be able to take out the eagle the town hall the scatter the multi the expo the rage tower hopefully maybe the other expo but that's a bit too far so i'm not even concerned about that 
but they're gonna damage the monolith they're not gonna be able to take it out i don't think so but i was thinking to take a, um, an earthquake or a lightning but it's not just gonna be a lot of value maybe it's gonna have a lot more hp and then we're just gonna waste the spell spot but that is for that hopefully the queen will also walk inside this area if i uh, remove this the queen is actually you know able to come forward so i'm not planning to kill her because i have headhunters for it later but it would be nice to have her killed like the last attack but now this will be the blizzard all the blizzard value that we'll be getting with the town hall and hopefully the sweeper because it's connected to the ego we're just going to chain through and now what is remaining is basically two ways to obviously sui your heroes but why do we sui in this side that i'm going to tell you which is the multi side why do we go there it's because we don't have the warden ability or even the warden with the lolo you don't know you have him because you use him early so you don't really want your loons to go through a multi and the scatter because if you sui the other side you're just going to take enemy queen and the single tower inferno on top it's not worth it so you have to lolo harder on the lower side but that's why we sui the lower side which i'm gonna send the king like this and then queen to funnel him inside so king goes in take all this stuff then they come and match again together then i'm gonna wall break this wall i don't know which wall exactly it's gonna go to i believe it's gonna go to the expo so around here so i'm gonna wall break them i'm gonna funnel it like that so they go in take out all this stuff i have another wall break which could work on this scatter shot wall right here because then they can take out the monolith i'm not sure if it's gonna work it's not my priority but we hope that it works okay but now i'm gonna summon my rc also like that and i have a giant with wizards one giant here and two wizards to take out this stuff right here so the rc can go and match with the king and queen like that so they can both together take out all this stuff and because the monolith is a bit low on hp then the rc ability might actually take that down that's why i'm funneling all this stuff on the right side like even the air defense will go down to the wizards if there is no tesla farm there could be a tesla farm and i could be completely wrong and mess up with the rc pathing and everything but guys that is the plan and then we're just gonna be lowering the top side like that sorry i'm on the phone so you can't really see the top side if i move around it's gonna go messy okay we're just gonna lower the top side like that hopefully we can make it through but that is the plan guys okay we are ready i think yeah we should be fine all right we got four sneakies again okay all right, yeah, I know where the four sneakies are for, but guys, we have nine goblins. Why is it that? It's because they can go and run to the town hall, activate all the bombs in this little area. Not all the way at the back, but like here. So that's good. But yeah, let's just jump into it, man. I'm a bit nervous. I have five invis. But yeah, this strategy is just, it's a bit nerve wracking, but let's just go, man. Oh my God, we're in. All right. Let me clear my hands. They're a bit sweaty. All right. So we're gonna use actually a hound in front of my loons again. I don't usually do that. I always hold like three hounds, but then we can use less loons. So one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, here, here, and then loon. Let's drop that blame two, and then uh, pop the warden ability. Should be fine. Sweeper is not going to push us. Beautiful. So come on, we're gonna land it here, and then invis. Nice. Rage up. We didn't need it that fast, but yeah, I, I keep forgetting. Like you know, sometimes because uh, we are used to the 45 spot and uh, clan castle, so it's a bit weird. But we have two more invades. Can we take out the town hall and the eagle? Come on. Wait, wait, wait. Wizards, come on. Oh my god. Why did they go there? I'm gonna hold it so the queen walks in and the invisible. Come on. I need to kill the queen. No. Okay. It didn't come in too far. Okay. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's use this poison like that, and then drop the king. And I'm gonna drop the giant and queen. Oh, okay, that was a bit, you know, waste. But <laughs> I mean, the king's not gonna go in. But uh, hopefully later on he will. Let's drop here and here. Come on, and uh, king, are you gonna go in or no? Okay, he he actually might. He might just go in. Oh no, the queen's gonna take out the arch tower. So yeah, that that's a bit weird, but it is what it is. Now we're just gonna um, keep on going with what we have. Now wall break, beautiful king ability and then uh, let's drop the wizard and then the rc like that and i'm gonna drop the giant with two wizards like this let's drop another wall break hopefully that will go to the right wall though i don't know yes oh my god we made it no way we did it nice 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 i'm gonna drop a headhunter and i'm actually gonna use a freeze it was a bit late but the king comes back hopefully the headhunter can take out the enemy rc but we have the queen ability there so that's beautiful that's beautiful guys i cannot lie to you that is very nice value out of my heroes okay 
drop a hound, loons, 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 loons. Let's drop some minions. And we're gonna haste this first group into the single. And then hopefully we can take out the queen as well. Come on, my queen should be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good, we're good. Hound, loons, 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 minions. And then we drop two headhunter. And we're just gonna haste the headhunter into the enemy queen with a freeze. Guys, look at that. Look at this beauty. One loon, two minions. Okay, look at this. This time I actually hold some <laughs> archers and cleaner, but we're just gonna crush this base, man. Oh my days. This base was even way more built like that in the first one that we hit. But yeah, that's the power of the pets and the heroes, guys. It's crazy. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel because we're gonna have more content like this very soon. And uh, yeah, guys, it's just a blessing to have you all here with me. And overall, I hope you give this strategy a try. If you don't know how to Lolo, I have, guys, four to, I think, five Lolo guides on my channel. So for the people who are new here, I'm gonna link the Lolo guides at the end of this video, which is probably around this time right now on your screen. But that is for that, guys. I hope you enjoyed it again. Hope I see you soon. So take care and peace.